welcome to Stars and Scopes with your friend Uma. Now the moon is full in Pisces and Mercury goes retrograde in Libra on Saturday the 10th of September. So I thought rather than let the messages get lost in astrological translation, it'd be better if we sat cross-legged in my room with a candle in our jammies and I gave you a good old-fashioned tarot reading instead. Let's drop into our intuition. Let's explore dreamland together and let's get Pisces. Let's get psychic. <laughs> if you'd like to support the work, you can always head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Uma Ruby and put some money in the tip jar. But other than that, relax and let's see what happens. Hello, Cancer. Very interesting reading. Straight off the bat, I think that there's a feeling, an energy, a suggestion, a theme of potential unmet. There was something that held for you a great seed of potential. That could have been an idea, that could have been a project, that could have been the, you know, the start of something physical, the start of something tangible. And I see it at the moment as it, as it lays right here, giving you more grief than joy. And I think I can probably see why as well. But as it stands, this cedar potential has resulted in you feeling kind of lacking and kind of unstable and kind of uh, without or worried about losing or worried about not being able to... Um, to build from here. This seed didn't really grow. Perhaps, that, yeah, that there's something that you can have all the potential in the world, but if you don't action or if you don't take the steps necessary in order to grow, then it won't. And it's left you feeling quite worried about what it is that you have in terms of, you know, access to, to material safety. Interesting energy in the middle... I got the Hierophants and I got Temperance in reverse. This sort of tells me that there's kind of, there's an imbalance here. There's something that you relied on too much without the other. Perhaps you've relied too much on grit without calculation, without sort of calculation. Perhaps you've relied too much on passion without emotional investment or the other way around perhaps you've been too emotional about this project or this this potential beginning this start of something and you haven't used enough of your your fire body of your kind of activation i see the hierophant here as this is a major secret of the tarot this is one that we carry within all of us the hierophant is the wise one that gives lessons and, you know, uh, is sort of spiritually enlightened. And they're sitting at the, in the middle of this, this, this sort of lackluster reading, but they're glowing quite brightly to me here. It's interesting that Pisces for you, Cancer, is, is your ninth house, which talks all about teaching and learning and philosophy and religion and spirituality and astrology and all of the greater sort of loftier concepts. So we can work, we can, we can move on from, from here, but I would take this as a sort of, you've met them on this road, I think, and they've really shown you perhaps they've expressed to you this doesn't have to be a physical entity but this could be let's talk pisces this could be your dreams this could be your gut feelings about this 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 um this project this potential 
that is just it's sort of becoming more and more and more undeniable that you've you've lost your way as far as the balance of the system it's completely unbalanced but you know there's the love has gone out of it because the energy is so unbalanced and this has come to you in but through some sort of vision or some sort of kind of knowing so let's go further i think because <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me cancer let's go further spirit what can you tell me about this here event, please. I want to know more about who this... Okay, so I've got the two of ones in reverse. And I've got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I'll take one more, actually. And I got the three of cups. Okay. So this hierophant, this 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 sense of greater understanding or greater knowing is coming from this queen energy. So if we think about the king in reverse, this is where you currently sit, this is where you currently feel that sort of worry that worry stricken uh, energy of, of lack and not having enough and not being not having the stuff really to continue the 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 seed from the beginning is lost in the in the dead earth kind of feeling this hierophant is connected to this queen of pentacles. So this is perhaps somebody external to you. Let's have a look. There's a little white rabbit there too, which is really beautiful. This is an energy that's external to you, but this is representative of someone who does have what it takes, whose seed did take, who at the, you know, the end of it all, they knew what abundance was for. They knew what a re regenerative, re regenerative, restorative space of wealth was for. <clears throat> it was kind of to celebrate. And in some way from entering this space until to, to find where you are now, this imbalance, you kind of went through the back end, didn't you? I mean, if you look at the two of ones as a sort of portal, as a way through, as a sort of stepping into the next frontier there's always maybe a choice with the twos there's this way or that way you know it doesn't all it can often be a doorway you know look, look, walk between the two but perhaps you didn't perhaps you walked the wrong way because this is what you wanted you wanted this place of abundance and celebration and warm welcome and having people come through and and enjoy themselves and instead you're constantly an emotional wreck and worried about the bottom line and how much you don't have. I think at this Pisces full moon, this is what this reading is for, this moment of, of uh, release, I would really recommend that you meditate on the Queen of Pentacles Really take in what it is that she represents and what it is that you wish to learn from her and what it is that this type of energy provides for 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 others. You know, there's this, that, that celebration that's coming together is quite clear here. I wonder if... Rabbit keeps on jumping out, doesn't it? That little white rabbit. There's something about simplicity that's gone missing, perhaps through overcomplicating things in your brain or through overcomplicating things physically, you know, in, in the, the physical space. It's just become too muddy. It's become too much. What you're really being urged to do here is to strip back, I would say, to strip back 
some of the excess of the physical, uh, but also strip back some of the, the, the emotional stakes that are at play and also the fire too. I think temperance is the two major elements that this angel is so good at balancing is fire and water. It's emotions and passion. You know, if you're quick to anger, then how, how can you expect to flourish? How can you expect to create a space where everyone feels welcome and, and, and wants to be or, or, I mean, I don't know, I don't know if it is a space, but that's sort of like, I get, you know, like when I say, you know, you know what I mean? Like an energy of that. I want to just pull some, some last cards, I think, cancer and then. Spirit, what else can you tell me about? What does Cancer need to hear in this moment? I've got the Four of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse. And the Hanged One. Yeah, you need to take a time out, Cancer, and, and, and strictly so. I think that Spirit's probably being quite direct here because whatever it is that we've been discussing is on such an unstable foundation that it's left you like either like really quick to anger and really aggressive or completely insecure and self-effacing and and thinking that you don't have the stuff you don't have access to it you can't do this anymore um or both and i would probably suggest both and the only thing i'm looking at this red repetition you know it's there's a lot of red going on a lot of you know a lot of that i think that you really do need to take a time out if we think of uh, Mercury has just gone retrograde today as well. So that's in Libra, which is your fifth house of creativity. So let that retrograde period, that that re, dis, re, reintegration of the messages that you're receiving, get back to the drawing board, Cancer. It's like what you maybe like get a new notebook, buy a new notebook and start from page one. Dear Diary, today I wish to XXX because I feel that you're sort of too far in, you're too, you're neck deep in pressure and in anxiety and in worry that there's really no way forward and you can't go on the way that you've been going on because it's just going to t tighten that noose, you know what I mean? It's going to really restrict you even further. It's not stable this this um this habit this this uh routine is not is not a stable one and no matter how you, you sort of wake up every day and think okay well today it'll be different if you if those pathways are well grooved in you're just going to go down the same slipstream over and over and over again so i think that the queen of pentacles you know gaia mother earth in a lot of ways, is reminding you really to remember what on earth the point of the whole exercise was to begin with. It was to bring folks together and make them feel good. It was to celebrate. It was to share in joyful, emotional exchange. Not to be ranting and raving and screaming and crying. That's untenable. And it's, yeah, you a pit stop here. So this Hierophant is really going to be singing to you at this Pisces full moon. And I think that the lessons in that, yeah, and I think that I see this Hierophant maybe as the Queen of Pentacles in spirit, you know. If we're going to use our Pisces sensibilities and get psycho, <laughs> get connected, then this grand message is coming through the subtler forms of who this person is who does this rep who does this when i when i show you this card who does this represent to you 
and what are they saying to you or what are they what information what messages are they they transferring to you that seem to be coming from this greater source of understanding you know and bring it back bring it back to a finer essence because at the moment cancer you're just going to keep on going around the same whirly gig time and again That's it. Bye, Cancer.